Isn't this insane? Don't we know how this is going to end? Well, I think, I think the budgeting process is insane. I think the fact that everybody in this town agrees that this law is not ready for t prime time, and yet they're going ahead suggesting to fund something that nobody thinks works, that's insane. I think the American people had a great victory today, and I think we got to keep pushing because there are some Republicans and there are plenty of Democrats that don't want to acknowledge that they made a mistake. Well, that's not how it played to out do, in the vote the today. The same thing to do would be to say, you know what? We screwed this up. It doesn't work. People are dump, dumping their employees. The American people haven't said that. They didn't say that in a national election. They didn't say that when the law was passed. The Supreme Court didn't say that. And nothing has changed in every 42 times now that the House has tried to do this. So I'm not sure what you expect to change. Well, I'm, I, you're not reading the polls I'm reading because this thing is more and more unpopular every day. But people don't want to repeal it. The law has been split along party lines since the law was passed. But people don't want to repeal it because people are already benefiting from it. We're two weeks from this thing being implemented. No, they're running from it. We both know that Obamacare is not going to be defunded. And what's going to happen is this bill is going to go over to the Senate. Harry Reid is going to strip the Obamacare provision out of the CR. And they're going to send us a bill back to the House. And even your poster child, Senator Cruz, admitted that there's nothing he can do about it, that it's up to the House. There's nothing the Senate can do to impact this debate. So where, again, where does this end? If this ends in a government shutdown, why in the world would you want to do that? Well, I don't think it does end in a government shutdown, but, but let's talk about insanity. $17 trillion in debt, $100 trillion in unfunded liabilities. Why would you add another entitlement program? We all know how they grow. There's history here. But here's the point. If the Republicans don't stand for what they ran on, if they don't do what the American people are looking for, they're really not in a negotiation at all. The whole budget process is crazy. The fact that we're going to do a three-month CR, that's right. insane, but it would be more insane So even Republicans who are telling that you that this is silly. Afford. Republican leaders who are telling you no, that it's this not is silly. silly at all. Even John Boehner, just a few months ago, said this was the law of the land. Well, we're and bring, indicated that we, he didn't want to do this. This is America forcing Washington to do the right thing. I don't thing. think they so. Don't I think it's do 45 this, let, Let's talk about examples <laughs> where we all said it was impossible. Do you remember when Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid and Barack Obama extended the Bush tax rates? Everybody was saying it was crazy. And yet that happened in 2010 after the election. Uh -huh. Do you remember both Republicans and Democrats saying, oh, we can't do this sequester. It's too draconian. It's a small haircut mm -hmm. on a huge deficit. So you think that this is, this is the magic formula, the 43rd time the magic formula on defunding is, is actually going to no, get the somewhere? No, the magic formula is if you don't show up to fight, you never win. Right. Yeah. Even though half of your party doesn't want to fight. And, and like Ted Cruz it basically said, we can't lot win of, this fight. There's a lot of insiders <laughs> He's in going Washington. into the Alamo and already conceding. So how there's a lot end. of lobbyists. There's a lot of insurance interests that would love to see this. There's companies, I think, that they'd love actually love to the see fact, the law implemented. Right. They would love to see that. And and now you're standing with the Wall Street Journal editorial page and big insurance. I think the American people <laughs> would love. No, I'm actually to standing see with the millions of Americans who have not been able to afford insurance for decades, and now they're on the brink of being able to afford it because they're going to be able to buy private insurance in a private insurance exchange and be able to get the care that they need for the first time ever. That's who I'm standing with. And that's where the American this people understand what this is going. This won't do it. <laughs>